would love to show you a bit more about the inside uh, of the watch. So we pick apart watches, show you nice um, technical details. And if you've got if any questions, please let me know uh, on the chat. Nothing spectacular so far. But then, if you can see here, the escape wheel moves so fast, but you see the spokes moving. This escapement uh, ticks and doesn't talk. First thing you see here is a temperature compensated balance wheel. I'm going to show you now. <laughs> and for the people who are not too familiar with that, here on the inside, you can see a steel ring and the outside is brass with a blue balance spring and that's well technically amazing for me just the swan neck spring is so elegant and nice and now and this is absolutely genius it is the pendulum uh, goes longer so the watch goes slow but for compensation you see this outer ring with made of bimetal the inner ring is steel and the outer ring is uh, probably copper maybe brass if I see the color and that's the another thing that makes a watch go on time it looks silly bear with me if it's the balance wheel if it's big it goes slow trust me if it's small it goes fast and big slow again so if the if it's getting warm the steel balance spring is getting longer and so the watch goes slow but the balance wheel the copper will expand more than the steel ring so in the same time the balance wheel becomes smaller and that's perfect compensation just for temperature so the pendulum balance spring goes longer so the watch goes slow and then in the same time the balance wheel becomes smaller and goes faster again that is so much that's that's genius here you can see the different screws and this is just uh, for weight just to balance the uh, <laughs> it's a different this is a strange sentence to balance the balance wheel to poise the balance wheel so if like a, a, a wheel from a bicycle if you hold it like this and a heavy point goes underneath then you just move the screw a bit in so you get a nice poised balance wheel here you can see so elegant um, if you move this this excenter will push this one out and this swan neck spring is going to push it back in so if you move this back and forth you have a really fine tuning of uh, of the movement this one goes so fast but you see by the spokes you see it here oh 
it moves so fast that the camera doesn't register. <laughs> this one moves so fast that the camera doesn't register every time it goes back and forth. That's nice. Here you can see it moving, but this one moves as well. But it goes too fast for the camera to, uh, to capture it. Oh, that's interesting. Um, this is just being made for insane accuracy. So this was way over the top uh, for just normal use in pocket watches. So even though on the front is just a normal pocket watch, but the accuracy and the movement inside is just...